always thank you for watching. Uh, this morning we've been called by the Cape Police Department. We have a truck with a loaded tanker, tanker loaded with diesel fuel apparently, uh, that has overturned. I do not know if there are injuries. It is apparently by a railroad track. Uh, as always, we ask for prayers, good thoughts, well wishes to all involved. Uh, I'm going to go up there first and take a look and see. Sometimes a company will have uh, fuel offloaded before they allow us to upright it. I don't know the condition of the tank, uh, but that's what I'm going to go do is survey it. Uh, as well as say a little prayer on the way. All right, here we go. We'll see what we find out. All right, see what we got. Morning, gentlemen. This doesn't look like a good start to the morning. Everybody all right? Yeah, I think. Driver wasn't injured? Well, that's no, good. No, he had his, I think Passenger went to the hospital. The Passenger went? She was in the bunk. Okay. Am I clear to go look? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know if they had it set up as a hazmat scene or no, not, so. Do, well, everybody's staging far back, but yeah, we're just. fire go run, I guess. Yeah. Do what, sir? You can see any planes. <laughs> <laughs> all I know is about roughly 44,000 gallons. Okay. I don't know if they're working. I think they're working on just finding a truck to. Well, that's what well, I was going to ask. Normally I they'll. Can't get hold of a dispatcher. Really? Dispatcher Normally they'll. I called them twice. When they're loaded, if it's got diesel in it, it doesn't look like a diesel tanker, though. He said it's diesel. It was diesel. He was taking it to Buzzy. Okay. And dropped his back tire off the stage. Yeah, I see that. Normally when it's loaded, they'll especially with diesel or something like that they'll want to offload it first it's gasoline it's gas 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 oh, oh no, no. That's worse. That's, that, is worse. that is that's a lot worse but it looks like it's in an insulated tank it gets with, even better all right if you see a flame definitely, definitely run, run. <laughs> you won't have a chance no, you won't. if we're you close enough we're gonna be yeah, gone yeah if you, if you see a flame you're done you brought the marshmallow uh, that is not a standard gas tanker that's an insulated tanker mm -hmm. that's what that's what baffles me why is it in an insulated tanker i don't know probably save gas everywhere though he doesn't know yeah he just wants you sitting back up he'll be fine he'll yeah, go on his way <laughs> yeah right <laughs> he's a little different <laughs> can i can i approach Okay. You want to hold on to that? Yeah. Just, just. This close or that close? I'll pass it to the wife. That, that, yeah, please. Yeah. And my next, do what? We can hold the GoPro too. Might as well get my destruction on video. Given this type of. My biggest concern is when we set it up. Yes, sir. And if something does start leaking, it's all wanting to shed towards the quarry. Correct. So they've got a backhoe down there. And we uh -huh. can do some damming and we'll remove it. Right. Um, I got a team now that's going right. to ground the ground the tanker, right? Ground the trailer. So unless the company decides to come in and offload it first which I suggested to him to get a hold of the company and he said that he did. I think that's kind of why I want you to command post to figure out a plan. As understood, far as understood. Whether we're gonna offload or whether you're gonna to try to set it up with it loaded or what you wanna do, so. If this is the type of tank that I think it is, it's an insulated tank mm -hmm. and this is nothing but an outer shell yep. and it's real thin sheet metal mm -hmm. and the inner core, the actual tank is real thick stainless steel. And the likelihood of that rupturing is very, very minimal. But can you bring some more oil dry to engine one, please? These outer shells 
crush whenever you start lifting on them and they rip straps and rip airbags and all kind of stuff. Uh, so with that, you have the risk of something going awry whenever mm -hmm. these shells start crushing. So yeah, we definitely need a, a good strong plan on this. Um, do we have the, the bill of lighting, the manifest to make certain? Command post. Okay, all right. You're fine, Brett. Morning. Morning, gentlemen. Morning. What's going on? You tell us. Uh, all right, well, they've hired a uh, truck and uh, trailer with a pump system to hopefully pump part, most, all, unsure at this point, of the product off the tank. Which, if that's successful, will make our job a whole lot simpler. We can still lift it loaded, but most hazmats, they want to try to unload first. We leave that to a different team. So what do you need from us? Do you need any help? We need to take that hydraulic valve off here first thing. Just want to get the hose on there. Okay. Flip it over. Okay. I guess you need a 7 16 I think it's 7 16 Yep. All right, I'll be right back. Beep, 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 beep. Everybody back up. Got to be somebody to tell the story. And so begins the offload, we hope. What they need to realize too is that the fumes from that are going to come out of that tank, aren't they? Because it's been it'll be vented to the air. I would think. I could be wrong, but I would think that I don't see any other way. It has to be vented, or else it's got no way to flow the liquid into it. So you're going to get fumes coming out. Anything through that insulation, though. Yeah, you will. Okay. Yeah. You'll hear a fine first. I can smell it, though. Yeah, it, it's cold. I got a real smoke. So it, it's got to be venting somewhere. But it's not venting through that tube, you say? He said it's not venting very much through the tube. It may be liquid covering it. There may be liquid covering it. And until we get down below that, it's not gonna vent properly.
thing is it's got liquid covering it until it gets down below that liquid it's not going to vent well it's got some air in the middle there too yeah Hey Dennis, grab that hose and blow real hard. That is tough. <laughs> clear. Right now we're feeling for any uh, pops in case the tank tries to crush the internal tank from the vacuum. They say they're getting better airflow now. He said they're getting some better airflow. Are you good? Try to turn it up just a little bit. You good, Dennis? Go ahead and open it up a little more if you want. He's backed almost all the way open. Stop. like to turn this over where do you get a hold of most of it will be back here and then up at the front of the tank like to have the truck more in line with it if you get enough of the liquid off it won't be an issue okay if you get enough of it off i can pick up this back end and set it up on the road that way it's uh fairly level are you going to try to tilt it first? Uh, if that's what you need, we weren't planning on it, but... Just, uh... You're saying more the truck needs to come around more so it pivots more on the fifth wheel? That would... Well, the trailer and the truck need to be in, in a fairly straight line with one yeah. another. Normally, you want the truck a little bit ahead of the trailer. Okay. Uh, but it's going to be difficult for us to, to make that happen from here, so we may have to reposition the trailer. Well, we'd hoped to be able to, once, it, once we rig up, we'd like to rig up and go ahead and put it on its wheels. Okay. Well, if I had a firecracker right now... Personally, I've watched them on video, but not personally. And you want me to stand here touching this thing? <laughs> I know, like crushing a soda can. Be about half the tank if it was full. I don't know how full it was. The tail's a little bit lower than the nose. That's helping, yeah. Okay, they've got as much pumped off as they can possibly pump off. Right now, I'm gonna back in and see if I can lift the front of the truck and bring it in a better line with the trailer. 
and then I'll have to reposition and this truck will be on the back of the trailer try to lift it up out of the hole and maybe depending on how heavy it is we don't know how much product is left in in it so there's a lot of uh, a lot of ifs here a lot of questions left to be answered but uh, if it's light enough to where I can reach out and do a complete vertical lift will rig so that I can do a controlled roll with this truck while the Western Star assists on the front of the tank and the uh, tractor and then the uh, 4024 Peterbilt will uh, control the roll of the trailer from the opposite side from the top side that's our plan if the back is uh, light enough now that I can safely lift it and control it. We're hoping so. Just grab a, what are you heading for? Take the rear end up. Okay. I don't think we're gonna have to worry about that. Boy, that sun come out at just the wrong time, didn't it? better. That's going to put the steer over here in the dirt when we get it over, but at least it's going to help us when we roll it. That's what winches are for. Yep. I told Raymond, I said, you're going to end up stuck up out there. Don't worry about it. I'm breaking it.
All right, Mike, what I want you to work on, I want big long chain run from one end of this all the way through and attached up here. I'm gonna run one main boom line to this chain up here, if you follow what I'm saying. I'm gonna go, go under here. Go under here and bring it over top of there. Well, right. under this, right here. Yeah. Yeah. Under here and then... Over the top and, okay. and latch it up here okay. so that I can roll gotcha. with it, all right? And then we'll take a strap and go from there and go under, all right? What I'd like to do is be able to get myself close enough to hopefully, like I said, be able to pick it up and then do a controlled roll with it without getting into Raymond. Raymond's probably gonna be too close where he's at, ain't he? Well, because well, I'm gonna have to bring the trailer over at least to here. Huh? We can see if we can get him out or move him over. Well, I can come over some more this way too and help myself I'm not gonna need two straps because I only found one in that one one, one will be finished 20, 20 one, one, one's, enough. Okay. one's enough on this just for a restrainer doing there right on the strap we're gonna double double that strap mine hey mine my strap yep yep just like that Now, if we can, I guess we'll anchor this end to spread it out as much as possible. Anchor these two. We'll take this underneath it. No, uh, I mean. The strap will have to go in here and we'd like to have it tied to that center cross hanger may have to get a long strap but yeah Land on it that way I've got enough height. I don't know if I if this doesn't I'll have to do a 20 uh 26. I think a 20 on this tank will work though. What you got right there? We can gut two chains on it. I can put one. 
Do what? Okay. All right, we can lengthen our chains. We can put two chains on it. We can put one to the front hanger and one to the center hanger. We'll just need to go to that center hanger. We don't want that strap on that quarter fender because it'll cut it. And then this one can go right here on the front hanger. We need some need some change. Well, the one on the center hanger needs to be fairly long. Yeah, so you can get past the quarter fender. Correct. The white will the, the white will go across, the blue will go on this side. Do what? Oh you don't have to have that you don't have to have that huge blue hook, but if that's what either this or a twenty twenty foot in this Either way. I want the white on this strap, yes. And the blue will be on that chain right there. Got it. Yes. Turn the hook around, please. Tip point out so it's not hitting the... There you go. Did that so the chain won't slip. What's up? Yeah, we're okay. We're good. I'm thinking I got on top of all of
that? Am I going to be able to lift? We get everything snugged up and we got to double check. You got kind of enough slack for you? Yeah, for now. Do what, bud? Should be getting snugged up now, there. Nope. We need a mud flap or something. Yep, several of them. Mainly down low where it's uh, joining that seam. All right, tightening up. You good? Let me go, let me try to get this back end up, see if I can get the back end up. I got the back. Help him get that strap under. You got to push her or not? Well, with that 26, he's going to run out of room unless he doubles it. Yep, I do. Get out of your way, Mike. You got a uh, another end for it? No, I don't have. Okay, let me get it. There you go. That'll give us six extra feet right there. May not seem like much, but that can make a whole world of difference. One more radio Power on. from One. somewhere. On. Yes, it's on. Huh? Yeah, 
I'm hanging. I'm good. Hold on now. The way that angle is, it's going to pull it towards me more than lifting. So. That's what I was working on. Just give me a second here. I'm gonna slide the boom forward. Well, I was thinking about hanging a tire on that concrete. You think? Oh, okay. Let me start. I haven't got a chance to roll it. I don't think. Well, I can roll it once I. Uh, okay. I think. I think if I start lift. Hold on. Hold on. Hold it. Let me lift with the white. Hold on, hold on. on that. Get ready to catch. Kenny, let off a little bit. Kenny, let off some, please. Watch out, Dad.
I'm glad I was able to lift the back end of it up. Tear down. Yep, tear it down. Captain, we good? Captain! We good? Yeah, the car is over there. Uh, right now, the red hat, holding the red hat. No, 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 no. Oh, interrail, that's Dennis, the one in the middle or yeah. the one on the left, either, either one. one. Bryant or Dennis, either one. Hey, Bryant, there you go. Well, that worked out well. Oop. You, uh, yeah, bud. Are you gonna unhook or are you gonna leave it hooked? What do you need? Well, what we're thinking about doing now, they changed the plan, is me backing back in and, and elevating the nose and me pumping it. Okay. So whatever sure. you gotta do. Sure. If that's what you want to do, we'll do it. Let me check these bandways and see what our level is, my level, and see how much is left. Yep, gotcha, gotcha. Back on her feet. We're not done, but she's back on her feet. And out of the hole. No explosion, we're still alive. Thank the Lord, hallelujah. As always, thank you for watching, and God bless.